Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you my homemade AC induction motor to show the principle of operation. As you can see, it has four coils. The coils are wound on these plastic bobbins from, uh, they are used in sewing machines. And they have an iron core, which is uh, just a, a large nail, iron nail and two of the coils are out of phase with the other two that is the AC current is shifted in angle and that creates a magnetic field which is rotating and that produces the, the rotational motion of the rotor the rotor is used a piece of aluminum from a large electrolytic capacitor and it rests on this, uh, this nail here to reduce friction and uh, so that it can rotate freely. The shift in magnetic field is made with the use of a capacitance. As you may know, a capacitant moves the angle of the alternating current and uh, I am using two capacitors, two electrolytic capacitors, uh, because since we are dealing with AC, an electrolytic capacitor is not made to work with AC. But uh, finding a non-electrolytic capacitor of large capacitance is hard and they are expensive. So the cheap solution is to connect two electrolytic capacitors with the negatives together and the two positives are here and uh, in this way the capacitor can withstand the AC current. Uh, it is convenient that your capacitors have a rated voltage of at least double the voltage that you will apply to the motor. In my case I am using 18 volts AC and the capacitors are rated at 200 volts. They are 330 microfarad each uh, and I got them from an old PC power supply. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here you can see how the connection of the coils is made. The four coils are wound uh, in the same way. For example, you start at the other position and wind in a clockwise fashion. So all of the four are in the same way. And then you connect as shown in the diagram. For example, the, these two coils, the inner, uh, the inner part is connected also with the inner part of this coil. And these other two in the same way the inner part with the inner part of the other. And the other connections are made as shown here in the diagram. Here we have the two capacitors joined uh, in the negatives. And at this point, we apply the alternating current. As I told before, it is 18 volts in this case uh, from a common transformer. So let's see the motor working okay let's try it but i decided to change the rotor because this has a very thin wall and the induction is weak so i am using this other piece with which is thicker and has better performance so let me connect and there it is
It rotates at around 60 revolutions per minute. The motor works in the following way. We have uh, the four coils that produce a rotating magnetic field, but uh, imagine just the magnetic field of one of the coils. Since it is a changing magnetic field, it induces a current in the can, which is a conductor, eddy currents inside the metal, and these currents create its own magnetic field. Now, because of length law, the magnetic field of the rotor is opposed to the magnetic field created by the coil. So they repel each other. Now, the repulsion will only create a force in this direction that does not make, uh, not, does not produce a rotation. However, since the magnetic field is rotating, therefore a torque is created that makes the rotor rotate. Okay, so there you have it, a simple AC induction motor that you can make very easy, few components. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.